I downloaded the most dangerous fish and sea monsters you can possibly find. It's never a good idea to just go swimming out in the middle of the ocean without a boat. Because some gigantic beast might come along and just try to devour your face. In today's video, we find out what happens when a bunch of sea monsters eat some ragdolls. Meet Magnamorphs, a gigantic- What the heck? Yeah, that wasn't supposed to happen. These things are Magnamorphs. They're a big, gigantic, aquatic sea beast. And they uh, hunt people down with AI. Whoa, look at that airtime. People often wonder what's at the bottom of the ocean. It's a big, gigantic, aquatic nightmare. It's freaking bloop. Bloop is here, and he's humongous. Can he actually eat these people? Wow, look at that mouth. Okay, there's a person, and here's the bloop mouth and compare. Oh, no. He's gonna eat him. <laughs> Yum. Oh, Bloop just ate that guy. Whoa, he just splashed out of the water. <laughs> look at the size of him. Oh, <laughs> he's gonna crush that guy. Oh, <laughs> that guy. Look at him. He's like, oh, I'm pretty sure he's not alive anymore. Legend tells of a creature so large the ocean can barely contain them. Deep within the depths of the ocean lies this gigantic monstrosity. What in the world is this thing? Look at how long it is. Whoa! He's got like two, he's got like a crazy tail. Look at the size! Here's a guy up here Ding, right there. And here's this gigantic beast. Pretty sure he could eat this little guy. Oh, 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 oh my goodness. Yeah, he could definitely eat him. Wow. Oh, it's coming down. Oh, you can't. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, he got him. Oh, no. Look, that's one tooth. He's giant. He <laughs> broke the game. It's called the Giganta Worm. And how big is this thing compared to that bloop we just saw? We thought bloop was huge. Look at the size of the Giganta Worm. Oh my. <laughs> He's like 10 times the size of bloop. Oh, bloop. You could fit straight in his mouth. Bloop's gonna attack him. He's trying. Bloop, it's a wasted, it's a wasted effort. You could be eaten in one bite by this thing. Look at that mouth. Bloop coming in, and bloop going down the gullet. Ah, yeah, he's been eaten. You know what's worse than a normal, ordinary land shark, which isn't normal or ordinary at all? A land megalodon. <laughs> oh my, <laughs> he's huge. Oh, he's coming for him, man. Oh, jeez, look out, dude, look out. Oh, he just smashed him. I wish we could make everything have AI. I want to see the size comparison to Bloop and him. Where's the Bloop? It's down here. Here you go. Oh, man. The Megalodon is even bigger than the Bloop. The Megalodon works well in the uh, water, whereas the Bloop is kind of... He's a little heavy. Dude, the Megalodon just ate him. Yeah, I feel like I'm watching one of those Bloop React videos where you see, like, Bloop get eaten and bloop, different Bloops eat different bloops and stuff but he's just been gobbled up by the megalodon though the good thing is mankind has found a way to fight back with this <laughs> this weapon you might uh, be interested to know that even though it looks like a little tiny handheld thing it's actually one of the most powerful weapons in the universe oh no look out here comes the megalodon no big deal let's go ahead and just okay I think I activated it. <laughs> um, it's about to get pretty crazy here in a second. Whoa, he's shooting. Uh, is the Megalodon dead yet? Doesn't look like it actually. We must fire again. Oh my goodness. The Megalodon is just being, oh, it's bouncing back. Just as a frame of reference to show you how intense it is, this guy right here is our test subject. He is uh, called the Yellow Shirt Man and he is now uh, maybe. 
gone. <laughs> there we go. Yellow shirt man is gone. All that is left is some of his dye from his clothes, which we know that's not what this is. And his head is on fire. Great. Oh no, he fell in the ocean again. Hopefully nothing comes and eats him. Oh, it's called Apex Shell. And he's going to eat him. Oh, he, he almost got him. He somehow survived that. Dude, no, run for your life. Oh, he got his freaking leg that's brutal man you're gonna be okay buddy i lied you're not gonna be okay you got serious problems yeah um, oh oh he's completely in the mouth now <laughs> oh he's been eaten he's definitely been crunched whoa something even bigger though what is this gigantic thing yeah he's gonna eat that abyssal whoa he's pushing him up out of the water whoa he just sent it flying that was sweet what is this nightmare creature oh they are seriously fighting oh he's crushed him into the bottom of the bottom of the ocean he's trying to oh he just broke something off what the look at him fly he just jumped out of the water and that's how high he went he, he might jump onto the land no he's gonna make it back down here he comes he's gonna splash the huge biggest splash ever whoa he somehow made it back it's kind of amazing oh it's a showdown look at him they're like taunting each other this guy's got bigger teeth i think this one has got some little baby stubby teeth. I don't know which one would win this fight. Clearly, his jaw is much bigger. It's kind of weird, but it somehow he's like engulfing the other one. Oh, wait, he just got eaten. No way. This thing just ate his head. What is this? A tadpole? It grows into toads? What the heck? Look at this thing. Ooh, shiny light. Whoa. He, did he just eat that person? No way. Shiny light. Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> he sucked him up with his tongue. That's amazing. It's a whole group of people that want to get a close look at the toad. And oh, some of them are fighting to uh, get a... Oh, something bad happened back there. He's just straight up eating all of them. How far... The question in that I have is how far can he actually get somebody? Let's see. Oh, there he's getting that guy. Uh, he's gone. Here we go. Let's see. After these, let me just help. Let me just help him. Can you just eat these guys? Make it a little easier for you. Will you get these? Oh yeah, he's eating those body parts too. He a little dangly, dangly, dangly. Whoa! He went after that guy. No way. He got that guy. Will we get this guy? Oh, the yellow guy is too far. We're gonna see what happens. Oh, he got the blue guy. <laughs> <laughs> this freaking toad is amazing. Whoa, this thing's trying to eat the toad. Look at him. Watch him. Look at him. Look at him. Oh, he's look at him trying to go for the toad. Oh, 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 he got him. He got the toad, I think. He did. That's amazing. He's actually trying to eat the toad. Wow, I'm very surprised by that. Ah, grab it. You need his boot. You're gonna get his booty? He's gonna get his booty. Which, who's he gonna go after? The person or the toad? That's really what I wanna know. He's going for the toad! Get jump out of water, that's amazing. Well, which of uh, the creatures is your favorite? What's worse than being alone late at night in a dark and dreary swamp? How about AI monsters that hunt you down in that swamp? This is me. And this is the gigantic predator that's currently hunting me. I heard a noise and behind me was a gigantic, devastating looking bug thing. Needless to say, I ran for my life and that's how I wound up at the lake. I found myself face to face with all manner of weird creatures. Good thing is, I found this nice weapon, and it uses some kind of pink void power to attack all the little bug things that I find. It's pretty effective. That was fine and all until I came across these gigantic mole creatures, and my weapon didn't seem to really do much against them. Haha, <laughs> luckily for me though, there were other bigger creatures that wanted to eat them. Oh, it turns out there were other creatures in the uh, ocean thing that wanted to uh, eat them and destroy them and as you can see they were very successful at doing so and as I sat there and watched that's when it happened one of them attacked me and uh, 
this is what occurred. <laughs> hey, it got eaten. Oh, no. There's my head, actually. Look at it flying around. Well, that was uh, a delightful experience. Welcome to the Abyssal Mega Pack. Now featuring AI monsters that will hunt you down and also fight each other. Here, Here's my, my brother. He's on a little raft in the middle of the ocean. And as you can see, there's a nice shark that's trying to uh, devour him. Oh, he lost a leg. Oh, no. Oh, Jesus, body. is. Where's that thing going? Well, I, I don't exactly know uh, what is happening, but it is gone. Oh, yeah, just cruising along on a little boat, cooking up some fish and stuff. Uh, and let's just see that that shark... It's just the baby. Hey, do you see anything up there, McMillan? I need, sir. Just a lot of water. Here to explain that giant alien squid that's flying around. Yeah, I might have missed that one. Our captain, he seems to be a little peaceful, not really attacking anything. And what of the giant abyssal whale? I believe that one's peaceful too, sir. What about the giant dog nose one that's swimming right at our boat? Uh, yeah, sir. I don't think that that one's, uh, friendly. Oh, no! We lost Johnson! Johnson! Oh, McMillan! I don't remember who's who anymore! Everyone's about to be eaten! Run for your life! That's the problem in the ocean. There's nowhere to run. And you can't go for a swim where gigantic abyssal sea monster things will try to eat your face. Oh, my gosh. The boat's being destroyed. He's eating the wood! Oh, oh, no! He ate him. He's he's just straight. All oh, that's left is his little. Oh my gosh! What happened? He destroyed the entire boat. And that's the moment we realized we had totally messed up. We went from like literally not too crazy to like insane in a matter of seconds. Are these his eyeballs? Air pass. <laughs> this guy's standing on his head. Ah, uh, you guys. I'm sorry to say, we're about to see what happens when the gigantic dog knows the vibe and think oh man everyone just gets eaten immediately <gasps> can we mutate the leviathan thing and make it even more crazy i bet we can oh gosh he's just eating everybody oh no that is horrible there's other creatures in the ocean too even bigger than he is. But before you see that, I've got a special surprise for you. I actually don't know what's gonna happen right now. We've got one of the mutation syringes. Uh, I need to somehow like get it and maybe try to shove it in his head. I don't even know what just happened. Can't, I can't put it in anything. I think we might need the tube thing. Okay, here we go. It's time for a test. Oh, it worked. <laughs> <laughs> I have created the ultimate monster. Uh, yeah, so this is the abyssal dog shark thing. And uh, as you can tell, he is now even more of a serpent than he already was. Oh my. Wait, how long is this thing? Oh. Whoa. Look at this thing. It's insane. This is probably the most insane creature we've made so far. Is this AI enabled? Look, all we got to do is go down here. Okay, AI is enabled. Let's see if he'll actually swim. Okay, we got some people in the water down here. So he should be able to, he should go after him. Let's see what happens. Drag it. It's like he's broken though. He won't actually swim. He's just kind of stuck. His body is like motionless and like not even able to move. Go after that. Will you go after him? Get him. Nah, he's he's totally broken. Like I said, there's even bigger ones. Doesn't matter how uh, safe you are on a raft, because it's only a matter of time before even bigger sees. Oh my gosh, here he comes. Comes for you to eat your brains. Look at this gigantic sea serpent thing. It's what it's called. It's called the sea serpent. And it's way more into, oh no, it's way bigger than the other one. Ah, what's happening? No, it's sinking the boat. Oh, that guy. Oh, he just ate everything. Wow. Uh, yeah, so they're all, they're all gone. And you know what the cool thing is about this mod? Uh, yeah, they can fight each other. I think it's probably safe to say we know who's going to win this fight, but this is the shark versus the dog nose. Maybe 
the shark will pull it out. He is. Oh no! Nope. Never mind. He was instantly eaten. What the heck? I can't enable the AI on the whale. Maybe the whale will eat him. Nope. <laughs> he's he's dead as well. Oh jeez, that thing is just destroying everything. But who wins between the serpent? And the dog knows one. Uh, the serpent's definitely very bad. Oh, it's it's locked on. It's locked on. Is he coming down? Oh, he's coming down. Oh, here we go. The battle of the ages. The serpent versus the dog nose. Who will be victorious? Is whoever's teeth touch the first. That's what it's going to be. Wow, the dog nose mouth one is so much bigger. Oh, the sea serpent's backing up. Oh, is he? Is he? Oh, no, he's going to get his body's getting eaten. Oh, oh, oh. He straight up had him for a second. Who won? The do they look like they're both dead. Did they? It was a trade off. They must fight again. We must find out who is the victorious one. Oh, oh! I feel like the dog nose one will win because his mouth is so much bigger. But I've been wrong before, dude. What is occurring right now? They're just kind of pushing each other. Reset. There we go. Oh, oh. Eh, eh. Who's gonna win? Come on, somebody do something. They're both just like hanging out. Dude, did the dog nose one lose somehow? Wait, how did he lose? Oh, <laughs> he just ate his body. Like, what the heck even happened? Well, it looks like the serpent uh, won, and look at him just devouring his body. It's like a big game of Slither IO. Well, it's safe to say that this is probably one of the coolest mods I've seen in a while. And before, you know what, before we go, before we do anything else, we need to find out what happens when the serpent grows different body parts. So let's go ahead and grab this little syringe, grab our liquid, <laughs> and grab this thing, merge him, there we go. Here we go, once we resume, crazy things should happen. And you boom. Anything? Do I need to do it to his face? Maybe, oh no, he's growing limbs. Oh. He's growing different things. Oh, oh, look at him. He's getting bigger and bigger. Will he grow more heads? Or just limbs? Is he, oh, he's growing new tentacles and stuff. Like whole on bodies. Body parts, bo like parts of his body. Oh my goodness. He's definitely not uh, doing what, he, what we'd like him to do. I want more heads, but it's pretty cool. He's got all these different like Tentacle body parts. Look at this. He's got a whole bunch of them now. One. How many does he have? Two. Three. Four. F he's got five of them. He's like a big, gigantic, like, Kraken monster. He's turned into something even more amazing. Look at him. He's awesome. Doggy, get out of the water. There's a gigantic legendary fish that wants to eat us. We're looking for the legendary bloop. Come along with me and my flying dog as we look for this legendary beast. Somewhere deep in this ocean lies a colossal beast the likes of which you've never seen. But first, we must go fishing. Hopefully we can catch something really awesome. Oh, look, I see a fish. Come here, fishy. There's a whole bunch of them in here. Get get it. You know you want. Oh, he's going for it. Get it. Get it. Is that a bass? I'm pretty sure there's not supposed to be bass out here in the ocean. Oh, I got something. Pull it in. Yeah. Come on, come on. Come reel this sucker in. I need solid ground to catch fish. What am I not on solid ground? I'm on a boat. There he's coming to me. He's almost here. I got him. Yeah! What is this? I need to know what kind of fish this is. Oh, look at it. He's beautiful. I love the way he looks. We should let him go. Get out of here. We need to keep trying to fish. Got another one. We need to keep trying to... Whoa, this one's big. Keep trying to fish in hopes to catch Bloop. I just now realized my dog is gone. I think he might have been eaten. Oh, my dog! I don't know. I don't know how I got out here. I think I got pulled by this fish, whatever it is. And then my dog just randomly appeared from beneath the ocean. Ah, oh, I got away. We're bound to catch some something soon. Ah, it's a megalodon. I don't want to try to catch a megalodon. Is it even possible to catch the megalodon? It doesn't move, so maybe it's not. Catch. I'm going to catch you, megalodon. I know you want to eat this bait. That would be quite insane if he actually could. But I wonder what happens if we take the megalodon and try to make him eat my boat. 
What does that look like? Oh, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> My boat. I don't know what's going to happen now that we're out here at sea and there's a Megalodon destroying my boat. Doggo and I are back here at the factory, stocking up on some more fishing equipment since I lost my fishing rod. It's safe to say that trying to catch a megalodon doesn't always work out too well. But unfortunately for us, doggy, the megalodon nope. followed us to our home. But now that he's here, we ought to see if he can actually eat a building. Mr. Megalodon, we must test your epic abilities. You can eat ships, but can you eat actual buildings? And then, whoa, what happens? I was gonna say, if he actually tries to eat a propane tank, but we found out pretty quickly what occurs. It turns out that he's actually quite capable of destroying buildings too, although he is starting to get uh, his face destroyed a little bit. Don't worry, we're fi we'll find a new home okay this is just for scientific purposes and since we found a megalodon i'm pretty sure we can get quite a bit of money for some of its meat don't worry i have advanced technology <laughs> oh my goodness this gun might be a little overpowered where's my dog i think i just destroyed my dog dude no there he is hey doggy let's head back out to the open ocean because if you remember we have to find bloop if i'm gonna hunt bloop I'm gonna need a bigger boat. Just gonna have to try to catch something. Wait, I think that's a blue marlin. We're gonna need a bigger fish than that. We need... Oh, we need to catch bloop. Sweet! I caught it. I caught a puffer fish. We're just gonna leave... Can I... Can I drop him? <laughs> can I drop this guy? He's stuck on here. The megalodon's back. Yeah, I think I caught myself a big gigantic blue marlin. Whoa, look at the bar in yellow. It must be a little bit more intense. It's pulling me. It's pulling me in, you guys. No, I got to get back in my boat. Oh, yeah, I caught it. Sweet. Hey, little marlin. How are you doing? Can I... Can I drop you? How do I drop? How do I drop you? He's just there. He is. You just flop around right there for a little bit of time, okay? I'm gonna eat you later. I'll just go ahead and store you right over here. What the heck is that? A rock? There's no rock. What is this? It's Bloop. <laughs> Bloop is here, you guys. Oh my goodness. Bloop is giant. He's go piece. Whoa. He's so much bigger than my boat and the megalodon. Can we go inside his mouth? Oh. <gasps> I think we can go inside his mouth. Oh, I can totally go in. We're going in. What's inside? Bloop, tell me your secrets. How did you get so large? Is he a fish or a whale or what is he technically? I could live in here, I think. Where's my dog? <laughs> my dog is gone again. I think my dog might have died. Here is what we need to do. We need to see what Bloop can do, how powerful he is. We need to see if he can eat my yacht first, and then we need to see if he can fight and de destroy the Megalodon, and then, what is that? That's a puffer fish. And then we need to see what it takes to destroy Bloop. Okay, Bloop. Oh my goodness, he's so large. Okay, Bloop, you're gonna eat my yacht, okay? My yacht, my not my boat, my yacht. Here we go. My boat's my boat's making noise like it's about to blow up. Can you devour this, please? Oh, oh, oh! He's doing it. He's straight up eating it. He is demolishing the yacht with relative ease. He has broken my yacht in half. Bloop is a terrifying absolute monster what does he look like underneath the ocean oh i can't even see him this would be ter oh my oh my goodness this would be absolutely terrifying to encounter something so large the showdown of the century bloop versus the megalodon who will win here he comes oh my goodness i'm pretty oh my dude does the megalodon just straight up fit in his mouth hold on we must test we have to see if he can straight up oh he can he can totally fit inside his mouth the bloop can straight up eat the megalodon whole <laughs> oh my gosh look at this the bloop is just just devouring the megalodon with ease oh there it goes down into the water what is it what would it be like if bloop actually came up out of the water He's splashing. Look at he's beautiful. He's he's majestic. Wee! <laughs> Bloop is awesome. But now we must test 
How does Bloop hold up against some dangerous weaponry? Like a fireball, for example. What would happen if you threw a fireball into Bloop's mouth? Can you get him to... You know what? We should put some TNT in here and try to blow him up. Let's just put a couple a couple bombs in here. Strap it to his... To his side of his mouth oh oh <laughs> bloop uh, you've got a hole in it. i need more explosives though we got c4 that'll do the trick strap some c4 all around his body let's just load it up this is some explosive action <laughs> oh my goodness bloop has been utterly destroyed all that remains is the back part of his body i've got this thing called the davy crockett rocket which i'm pretty sure is a yep it's kind of like a nuke basically <laughs> it uh has the ability to implant a missile into the side of something and then shortly thereafter a gigantic explosion occurs and there we have it bloop has been obliterated once more this is something called the lava gun <laughs> so yeah it turns everything to lava whatever it touches and so if you've ever wondered what would happen if Bloop encountered a volcano, now you have kind of an idea. Although that was kind of anticlimactic. He looks, he actually looks kind of cool. Bloop, you got some war wounds. I wonder if we can, let's just drop a nuke on him. Will I die? <laughs> Will I die if I do this? No, it's a mini nuke. All right, well. It's about what I expected. Just a bunch of chunks of watermelon left over here. Oh, you guys. What if we dropped a Kamehameha on him? And give him a little Kamehameha action. Okay. Oh, that's the basic attack. This is what we're this is what we're after. Ready? Boom. Oh, crap. I meant to go down his throat. Turned out it went just straight on his face. It, oh, it's blo I think it's blowing up before it can even get there. There we go. Let's let's get it in. Oh my <laughs> Goodness, Bloop, what happened? Well, that was pretty fun. Bloop, it was nice meeting you, but today we're gonna send you off with a bang. This is called the BFG, and the BFG likes to make, oh gosh, nope, there it goes. Oh, it started, it was gonna explode all of a sudden right away, but uh, the, as you can see, what it does is it kind of disintegrates things as it goes along, and now, Bloop is just ahead. Look at this insane beast of a mech. The problem is that it might be a little bit too powerful for this oh, army. But we ought to check it out and see exactly what happens. Oh, it's got missiles. I didn't even know it had missiles. Yeah, so it turns out that uh, this thing might need a bigger challenge. So let's do something we've yet to do. How about a whole army of land sharks? <laughs> Does this work? It does work. It's like they're swimming through the la on the land, which are gonna do absolutely nothing to it. But it sure was fun watching them get completely destroyed. Well, I think since we did that, we had to do this, right? Then this is the only logical next step is to have a bunch of sharks fight a bunch of orcas on land and watch as they fly through the air magically. This is a little bit of a derp fest over here. I can't tell what's happening. All right, the orcas are gonna be victorious over here, so I think it's about time we go back to the water. Aw, here's a little cute creature. Wrong. <laughs> this thing is like a nightmare. Is this supposed to be like a Nautilus-like thing? Because it kind of looks like it. Well, let's watch as it bites. Oh, it's going the opposite way that I thought it was gonna go. Yeah, it's just a big giant spiky thing of doom. Are they punching each other? Yeah, so it's basically big spikes and uh, poking people and stuff. <laughs> this guy's like, curse you little demon nautilus spawn. Hey, look at this cute little axolotl. Isn't he so wonderful? This is really well done. I think this looks pretty good. I wonder if he'll win against all these guys. Let's see. Wow, he's fast. There he goes. Go, little guy. Go. Oh, no. They killed him already. Let's see how you deal with this army of axolotls. I think this will go a little bit differently this time. Yes, eat him up. Oh, they are just getting destroyed like pinatas at a 
little kid's birthday party. Oh no, they're just getting absolutely destroyed. They're win they won! They did, but a lot of their friends died in the process. Now that we have a water map, the Spino fits right in, and you know what else fits in? My Kraken! Look at him go! He's amazing! <laughs> I forgot about this guy. He's just a wonderful dude. Oh, he he got them all. How about this intact Kraken versus that intact Kraken? This one looks like an actual Kraken. A little bit more with all the little spiky spikes. Does this one have lasers? I can't. Yep, he's got lasers in his eyeballs. It's never good. Oh, look at him fight. Get up in there. Who will be the victorious Kraken in this battle? I don't know. It just kind of looks like they're doing a weird dance. Oh, of course that was going to happen, right? He was barely even touched. Just pieces flying everywhere. Or what do you think of this thing, hippos? Look at this monstrosity. We're in we're in a whole new realm of the game now. Where people are making amazing looking aquatic animals that actually swim and stuff. He's gonna eat that hippo. Yum. Oh, he missed him. This is kind of what all the aquatic stuff does. They just stick their tail in the air and swim down. And then try to just bite things slowly. <laughs> The mating call of the hippopotamus. Well, this is an eventful battle. I have been deceived. Look at this thing right here. It looks pretty large, doesn't it? Turns out it's just a little baby. It's so small compared to the picture. But let's see what happens, shall we? Does it do anything? Oh, it walks on the ground. It doesn't actually swim. That's okay, I guess. The packies are probably gonna destroy it. Listen to the audio effect for these things. <laughs> Sounds like somebody just swallowing over and over again. <laughs> well, at least it looks pretty cool. Ah, yes. The legendary plesiosaurs. It's like the Loch Ness Monster. Although, what? Why? What's up with its tail over here? You think it'd have a longer tail? <laughs> anyway, take that gorillas. <laughs> About to get wrecked. Yeah, it ate them. Um, oh, yeah. Oh, it's it's actually eating oh, bubbles. I didn't know that there were bubbles on this map. He's eating things. There he goes. Oh, listen to that crunch. I'm a fan of the plesiosaurs. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That's graphic. I need to put like a... Like a warning on this game. Yeah, even though its neck looks weird and everything, and it has no tail, it sure is. It sure is an awesome creation. I like it a lot. Now it's time for you to witness the epic creations. As if that plesiosaurus wasn't epic, but I found something even more amazing. This thing. Look at it. I wish I made my mecha shark with a mouth like this i think it technically is a shark right it's just got legs over there i'm pretty sure this thing's gonna destroy this and <laughs> i can barely move because its mouth is like all hobbling along oh, oh yeah he's eating it get him oh man yes it may be going up but at least this one is actually gobbling things up i like it let's put a couple coward coals with no detection range in here and see what happens coward coals about to be eaten Whoa, 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 he's flinging them around. There, one went flying. There he goes over there. Oh, he got one. <laughs> he got him in his jaws. I got rid of the bottom part of the jaw thinking that would help. And it only has a little bit. It's still very much derpy. But he ate him at least. A new sea dragon. Or perhaps kaiju has risen. It towers as tall as some of the world's largest buildings with many arms. Two gigantic claws the size of an ordinary monster's mouth. This is the colossal sea dragon. He is terrifyingly epic looking. Look at the size of this thing. Witness what happens. Oh, he's got lasers. Okay, well, I was just hoping he didn't have lasers and he just uses gigantic claw fist things to just utterly wreck everything, which he is. He can't even actually make it past his claws. But even if they did, they have to deal with lasers. And I'm pretty sure they're gonna... Oh, it just got spiked that one. I don't think I have anything that can defeat this gigantic monstrosity. How about two of my mecha sharks from the last video? Let's see if they can fight and destroy this thing. Probably not, since this... Look at these are massive sharks. These are megalodons. Oh, he just blasted that one. Knocked it up and... Oh, it's all over. Perhaps we take the Dark Slayer Dragon and face it against this thing. And you can see the sheer size of this colossal. And because if you put in a person, let me just show you. Let me just show you an ordinary human being next to these things. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, I'd say there's a big difference in the size here. So let's see what happens now. Who will win? Oh, the Dark Slayer. It's got more lasers. 
just wreck that thing. We've all seen bloop before, but have you ever seen lava bloop? Here are some ordinary guys just walking down the street straight into the gigantic bloop. This is a regular bloop who doesn't really have a whole lot going on for him other than the fact that he's just gigantic. Oh, they just walk up. Oh, never mind. They were walking over his teeth, but they're not any longer. This guy's going to have some serious neck problems in the morning. We've all seen the boxy boos, but now we need to see the bloops. And we need to find out which bloop is the best bloop. So comment in the comment section below, which bloop is your favorite? This is bloop number one. This bloop number two is called the blue bloop. And he doesn't really have a whole lot going on for him other than the fact that he's blue. Just a whole family of very interesting looking people walking straight to their certain demise. They're going to walk up over these teeth, right? Oh no, they can't even make it up. Get in there. Okay, I'll, I shall, I will help them. If they can't do it themselves, I will give them a boost. There you go. There you go. Oh no. Oh no. It was it's, There you go. You need it. You need some help. Oh jeez. You see, he did the splits. This guy needs a little bit more force. <laughs> There we go. That worked out pretty well. This guy is uh, in multiple pieces with part of his hand stuck inside Bloop's gums. Meet the third Bloop. This is Gamma Ray Bloop. And as you can see, he is gigantic, true to size. But here's the thing. I don't know why you'd call something Gamma Ray if you didn't have like Gamma Ray abilities, some kind of laser shooting out of his face. We need to know what happens if we take a whole bus of people and we drive them off into the abyss that is Bloop's gigantic mouth. I made him further down so that way we should get a nice little explosion hopefully. Let's watch as he and all the other people go into- Whoa! It went a little faster than I thought it was going to and we tote oh, down into his belly they go. That went totally farther than I thought it was going to. All right, a whole group of red individuals getting ran over first, falling down to their certain death and destruction. Well, they got definitely messed up. I'm not quite sure how this guy's floating in the air or this guy right here became this mangled mess that is somehow like hanging in the air. But what's more interesting to me is this guy literally hovering in the air doing some kind of death ritual dance. Here is the fourth bloop. This bloop is space bloop and I like this one quite a lot but there's one more that might be my favorite now given the fact that bloop is in the air I thought we need some kind of uh, spacecraft an airplane maybe a jet and I found this thing but I don't know if it works quite the way that I thought it was going to uh, so we'll see what happens nope there it goes oh wait it's working Nope, there <laughs> it was working for a second. Maybe this is why it's not working. There we go. Oh crap! What the heck happened? It's taking Bloop away! It's making him fly away! I did not expect that to happen. I thought for sure that that plane would blow up. Someone asked the other day if this is my first time playing People Playground. It isn't. I just find this game to be incredibly, incredibly blo like blocky, I guess is a good word to say. Things look really dumb when I use it, but it is fun to play regardless. So it didn't quite blow up and do what I thought it was going to do. Fear not, I have a jet too. Although this might have similar results. Uh, what the heck? It's like frozen? Unfreeze! There we go. Yeah, okay. Well, it blew up in Bloop's mouth, but it definitely didn't do what I wanted it to do. I think the only thing left to try to do to this Bloop or another Bloop is to try to blow it up. So let's get a couple bombs and just put it right in his mouth. I have a bunch of atom bombs in his mouth that I have activated. So let's see what occurs when we let go. Oh my gosh! <laughs> So it turns out 
<laughs> that atom bombs work quite well on bloop, space bloop at least. You know, while it might not work on giant boxy boos like it didn't do in the last one, it definitely has the ability to mangle bloop's face quite a bit. There's one more bloop that's probably my favorite, and it's lava bloop. Look at this guy. Lava bloop is just an orange bloop, but I put him in lava because that's the name. And we're going to see what happens as a bunch of people walk into this bloop's mouth into this fiery abyss that is the lava but as well as you know hopefully touching his teeth and uh which i'm sure will result in a nice a nice effect here are our subjects <laughs> they, they look like a happy bunch looks like nothing no problems in the world no, no issues at all in life just going through life walking along when they encounter lava bloop <laughs> <laughs> this thing's nuts! I love this thing. It's great. Let's watch what happens as uh, they walk into his mouth. Turn on that slow motion. I'm sure it's gonna be nice. <laughs> oh, look at him! He's just hanging there. He's gonna get pushed by that guy behind him. This is this is kind of amazing. This guy's got like Michael Jackson powers. There he goes. Oh! I don't know. It's worse falling into Blue's mouth or doing the splits while you fall into Blue's mouth or doing the splits while you fall into Blue's mouth when his teeth are the temperature of the sun. Oh, look at him go. It's a stairway of death. Into the deeper lava pool. Not advisable. Just walk the other way. <laughs> Ouch, that's painful. Well, that about had the results that I was looking for. Things turned out quite well. Um, <laughs> they're getting to getting kind of toasty. So if so, that's pretty much what happens, right? If we do anything else, put a person on the teeth when they're in the lava. I think even if we put it on his head, right? He's, he'll catch on fire. Yeah, look at him. There he goes. Lava bloop is very hot. You don't want to touch him. He'll he'll damage you big time. So comment in the comment section below. Which bloop is your favorite? The normal, ordinary bloop number one? Is it the blue bloop number two? Perhaps it's the space bloop number three? To be the, 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 the gamma ray one. Third is the gamma ray one. Or is it space bloop? Which is kind of interesting that gamma ray bloop is bigger than space bloop. Or is it the lava bloop? I think the lava bloop's my favorite. Look at his teeth are already hot by itself. Hmm, it's not people playground, but we got some stuff to destroy. And there are some brand new mods in the game like this right here. Is this a freaking honeybee? Let's see what happens. Oh, did it make a bee noise? Oh! Oh, he's getting shot in the butt repeatedly by bees. Look at him on the ground. Oh, it's just eating away. He, I think he's okay, though, still, right? Is he still fine? I think he might. No, I don't think he's fine. I think he's have some sear. What the heck? This one's crazy. This is the firefly. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen, but I have to imagine this guy's going to have some. Pr oh, what happened to him? Whoa, okay. Got some apple juice leaking out of him. Look at that. That's a little intense, I think. Yeah, he's we we're just making some applesauce over here. There's a whole bunch of mods in here. Mini NPC Smurf Cat? What the heck is that? Crane Operator, Sofa, Auto Mechanic, Logger. There's a Shark, Download. We've got a Welder. Hatsune Miku, whatever the heck that is. Uh, it's probably a person by the looks. We got Seek Down. Oh, I gotta watch an ad. Cursed Apple. Oh, yeah, he looks pretty cool down there. We got Ambush, Assassin. There's a tone. What is that? Oh, I downloaded the Nef gun. There's a Nerf gun for whatever reason. We can check that. What is the cursed corn? He looks insane. Well, here it is the Nef gun. <laughs> Let's see what this does. It actually, wait a minute, is actually doing damage to him? How many nerf bullets does it take to take out a piece of corn? <laughs> I was trying to bring his head in the line, but he started doing a dance. It actually takes quite a few shots from a nerf gun 
to take him out. So, oh, whoa! It, okay, right at the end, it actually, it actually got him. That's pretty amazing. We need a apple. We need a pumpkin. We also have the curse things. Where are those? Here they are. Let's, let's see what this looks like. He looks, what the heck is that thing? It looks amazing. It's kind of crazy. To test out this, this thing called the wind bomb here. Let's go ahead and put that in the middle of them and see what happens. Shall we? Okay, my computer might have died. Oh, okay, what the heck? There's pieces of fruit and vegetables flying everywhere. That didn't quite work the way that I wanted it to, but I think we need to maybe do that again. There you go. You don't need to be alive. You don't need to be alive. You just need to let your parts fly. All right, let's see what happens. We're going to activate it. Let's... Whoa! Um... Well, that definitely worked well. Oh, I also have a shark, which, uh... Looks like it's pretty derpy. What the heck is even... Will you eat this guy? Yum. Come here. Uh, that's not quite what I had in mind, but it, I guess it's fine. Can he, can he actually open his mouth? He doesn't look like he'll open his mouth. He's just kind of being... He's being really weird. God, what do I need to do to damage him? Oh, yeah. There we go. That's working. We get, I think you I, I think you got him. Can you plop it down? He just kind of looks like oh there he goes He's swimming up to the top <laughs> Clearly, it's a man in the body of a shark mermaid looking thing because he's even like got legs It looks like and what is he what is he trying to swim? I really want to know what the heck this mini NP NPC smurf thing is it says this is a smurf now, does that mean that it actually does things why is it called Smurf Cat? That's what I want to know. Maybe, uh, because he's got a tail? <laughs> Maybe he needs to have some kind of weapon attack him. Like, whatever the beetle, the beetle is. That seems like, <laughs> seems like an appropriate weapon for a little tiny Smurf boy. Let's, uh, I should probably zoom out a little bit. Oh! He's got Smurf goo coming out of him. It's all blue! Somehow he's actually extremely resilient. But yeah, he's got- is he still alive, I think? How are you still alive? I don't know how to control this thing. But we need to get some more smurf blue- blued out of there. There we go. <laughs> get your smurf blued. These mods are great and all, but in all reality, like, they need to function more. They need to do something. We also need another weapon. So let's see what we can find in here. We've un we've unlocked and almost um, all the weapons. Cursed pumpkin. Download. <laughs> Hard to kill. Smooth hitboxes. Don't know what that means. Strawberries that you can harvest. What are people making fruits for? Okay, here's Seek. Can we put a hat on him? Oh, you can totally put a hat on him. How about a dress? There you go. <laughs> There you go. I hope you enjoy. That's great. Oh, there's vehicles and stuff. I didn't even realize there were vehicles. Did I download? What did I download? Oh, yeah. Pumpkins. The pumpkin might... Let's see. What is the pumpkin? Oh, jeez. Okay. He's a big gangly creature thing. We need a, uh, some kind of weapon to use against him. Let's see what we, we got. We've used all of these already. So maybe what we need is something else. Okay. I don't know what this is. It's called the blue pistol. So we'll see. Nothing's, nothing's happening. There's nothing coming out of that thing. Right, I don't think I've ever seen uh, what happens when you do death by paintball. So let's give it a shot, I guess. And oh, how many paintball shots does it take to actually take them out? Let's move it a little bit. There we go. And paintball shot to the face. Oh no. Yeah, he's getting all colored and stuff. He's somehow still alive okay i think maybe a laser gun will work better maybe not though doesn't uh really seem to be doing a whole what the heck is happening oh you just hold it on him yeah does that feel good you need a dent you need a dental operation i can help you how is he withstanding this laser to his eyeball there might be more mods but we have to wait 17 hours to find out there could be a lot more things you, you know we need heavy firepower i just want to know now if he's actually able to be destroyed 
or if it's like you know he's impervious to damage or something so here we go in three two one oh yeah um i i don't think he's uh, impervious to damage here's his dress Let's see this crane operator is he like in a whole big thing or is he is he by himself he's not in here so maybe he's like actually in a thing by him. I don't know. I don't know where we can how we can find him. Oh, here he is. He was like here the whole time. Oh, he's not actually in a crane. He's just kind of by himself. He's just been dressed up. That's all it is. It's just the apple in close. Guess we can always test out what happens when you drop a couch on somebody. Ha! <laughs> he gets crushed, but he's still alive. It's not enough. That worked. That that was a little bit better. The uh, apple was turned into some red cranberry applesauce. He is no more. And so yeah, all in all, you know the mods are pretty cool and stuff, but they they're just like kind of reskin stuff. There doesn't seem to be anything too amazing. Although there is some new stuff with like the bee and whatnot. That's kind of cool. But there definitely definitely need some more things that we can get. A plague doctor like he well, let's download this guy oh he he doesn't actually have anything by himself he just kind of is a, a normal guy uh he did have like a maybe it was a spear or something you need this spear oh no that wasn't what was supposed to happen but i mean it's okay how about the pumpkin can we oh jeez skewered him right in the booty yeah well yes yeah, it's, it's interesting to say the least this apparently is somebody's version of an owl. I don't really know what it's supposed to do. I'm sure these guys are gonna wind up dying to it though. He just kind of steps on people. I don't know who designed this thing, but his wings are a little disproportionate to his body. He really has no means of fighting other than just kicking people around. I think maybe we should just move on. The other day I asked you guys to make some derpy units and I'm thinking that maybe it was a mistake. Somebody made this beauty. <laughs> this is just called butt cheeks and I'm not too sure what it's going to do. Maybe, oh, does it have a green laser? Oh, he's farting on him. Look at that green smoke. <laughs> there it goes. Oh, it's explosive. You didn't know you were going to come here and have a fart joke and stuff, did you? Whew, blew those guys away. I made things a little bit more explosive. <laughs> Literally. Whoa, check out this anglerfish. This thing looks so good. Talk about a sea monster. Have you ever seen a male anglerfish? Every anglerfish you've probably ever seen is a female. Males are like little tiny things that just suck on the side of it and then they have babies. I really hope you've enjoyed learning about the anglerfish and its habits. Uh, but now let's watch Coward Cole get eaten by one. Oh, <laughs> he's humongous. I didn't realize he was that big, but he is just straight up eating Coward Cole. Oh, he got another one. Oh, that one's like, crap, I'm out of here. He's trying to blend in with the uh, big coral there. He's like, why would you do this to me? This look kid's so funny. Are you ready, kids? I'll give you a hint whose hand this belongs to. He likes money. And he likes his Krabby Patties. Look at this Mr. Krabs. He looks so amazingly good. Let's watch as he completely destroys these kids. Yum! What are those big giant balls that he has? He's just so big and fat and he's just destroying everything. He's actually not the greatest fighter, although he's finally spiked a <laughs> bunch of them. Uh, that took a while, but look, he's got two in one thing. I was gonna say he's not the greatest of fighters, but then he's he's going to town now and getting them stuck in his claws. It's like I said before, you guys make art in this game, and I'm always extremely impressed. Mr. Grey White, I bet you were wishing you had a laser on your head right about now. It's a Mosasaurus. Look at this thing. It's so epic looking. I'm not too sure what this little thing is in here. Maybe it's like bait or something. He's going to try to track the great sh white sharks with it. It's gigantic. Let's watch his, what he does with it. Oh, he got one. Just right in his mouth. He went right for the little hook thing. Where's it going? Oh, he just opened up and bit down on that one. Get him. Oh, look at that. This is the remastered version. I'd like to see what the first one looked like. Maybe it was super derpy. Well, uh, <laughs> this one's still pretty derpy. <laughs> I was just like swimming around looking at things and then I found this guy. Look at how happy he looks to be dead. And he's like perched up on his little fins like as this nonsense going on in the background. <laughs> 
<laughs> this is like one of the funniest scenes I think I've seen in this game. I am so glad this update came because there are some epic sea monsters that I am really enjoying checking out and playing. Oh, this isn't a terrifying sight or anything. Look at this giant squid. What in the world? This thing looks amazing. Oh, whoa. I'd say it works. Yes. Look at it. It's got all of them. This is a terrifying creature. Look at this. It's one of my favorites, I think. Man, this thing is so good. It's definitely attacking him. It's not, like, taking him out too quickly. Excuse me. Oh, it's the last orc. He just completely grabs all around it, and they, it's like a, like a prison. and can't get out. I kind of want to see who wins this battle. The giant squid or the kraken. Look at this thing. It's not an animal. It's not an aquatic one. Come on. It's stuck on that thing. You guys want to do anything? Oh, there it goes. It's moving in. This is going to be very interesting to see who wins this match. Oh! Oh! What is happening? Look at him go. They're both just trying to eat each other. Oh, it's all spiky spikes going on. Come on, giant squid. No! Giant squid! It went down. What's the health of this thing? Oh, it's barely been damaged. Well, this is the episode for giant sea monsters, that's for sure. Speaking of giant sea monsters, someone tell me what this thing is. What in the world is this crazy creature look at, look at this thing what is even happening oh it's got lasers no not the lasers take two wow this thing is lagging oh it's got another laser under there and flamethrowers flamethrowers under the water that makes a lot of sense here we go take three i got some goros in here now there's still a laser somewhere i just want to see what happens with the flamethrowers I don't want lasers happening. This thing is just crazy. This is nightmare level right here. I don't even, I don't even know what is going on in this area right here. This hippo is laying down on the job. Same with this one. It's time for you to meet this giant sea monster. What? Look at this thing. Laser arm things, big giant spikes, a jaw that looks like it splits in two. It has a giant thin looking tail thing pretty sure you're all all these hippos are going bye bye oh look at it try to bite like bite it bite it yes you got him i love it when things eat things in this game it makes it so satisfying to watch when mouths actually work and he's gobbling up like three hippos at a time yeah need this to say this thing is quite look at the hippo go Wee! bye bye hippo oh he's got spikes on the back of his legs that are just sinking into those hippos i will give the hippos some props they are relentless fighters oh yeah i'm a fan of this thing guys i get a lot of my creations from like three or four of the same people that make these amazing creatures if somehow you thought i was done with epic sea monsters i thought i'd just show you another one look at all this going on in here and look at this thing it's another kraken and this one is called the ultimate kraken and I'm gonna guess I can see why it's got lots of oh just sucking it into its mouth and then biking it like crazy yeah this one works a little bit better than the other one because the other one doesn't really move too well this one just kind of hangs out and scuttles along and spikes things up oh yeah what about this thing let's see who wins why was there explosions there for a second who made explosions happen come on giant squid we believe in you, although I'm pretty sure you're probably going to lose. Oh, this is actually a really close battle. Come on, Squid, you can do it. It's so close. Oh, no. I wonder if it had like a different approach if it would have won. Yeah, I like this. I like the aquatic stuff. Oh, I'm not done yet. How about a robo shark thing? Look at this. Pretty sure this might have been made before the update, but still, it looks awesome. And it works. Oh, he's got spikes all over his body. And I love the way the tail moves with, like, the torsos, detached torsos. That's pretty sweet. <laughs> you think you'd float in water, but no, you just get flung in the air. Why, this one, I was just going to say, why doesn't this one ever actually bite anything? And then he just straight up bit that guy. What's that guy doing? 
My man, that is not how you want to battle in the jaws of a giant robo shark. <laughs> well, I'm so confused as to what is happening with some of these. This game is so derpy sometimes. Just me and my good friend out here fishing in the open ocean looking for some brand new sea monsters. Legend tells of not only Bloop, but also a Megalodon, and Dark Bloop, and a Kraken. We found, what are we, ca oh, look, are you hungry? Today we're looking for Dark Bloop, and we're also looking for other sea monsters, and then we're gonna see if Dark Bloop can eat them. Eat it, and stop making that noise. Bye, <laughs> he's, he's flying somewhere. There he goes. In order to find them, we have to drive for quite a while to the deepest, darkest parts of the ocean. Now, apparently, they really like to eat pu- I need- <laughs> one went overboard. They really like puffer fish, and so we fished for quite a while to get this bad boy, and now we're going to try to use him as bait. Just throw this out into the deepest part of the ocean, and then I think what we should we should probably drive over there, and then maybe jump in and see if we can see anything. Not quite sure what's happening to my boat here, but we've got a massive problem. I'm, I don't know how I'm not sinking. Look, Bloop was here. He's uh, he's he's come up from the depths to eat some people and some boats, maybe as well as some fish. But something's happening with my game that's causing some serious lag. I think we need to explore under the- oh, Did you see that? Did you see that for a second? I think we just saw Dark Bloop somewhere under here. Oh my goodness. I see the eye. There's a fish here. He must be trying to get this fish. Where's he going? He's going deeper under the water. I can't, I can't quite get down there. You guys, this is no island. This is dark bloop. We are standing on dark bloop right now. We need to get him up out of the water so that way we can see what he really looks like. Let's, oh, there's his eye. He's coming up. We might not even have to do anything. It looks like he's emerging from the depths. Oh, he's coming. Oh, he's amazing. Look at him. Here he comes. We need to see what's inside his body. And then we also need to see him, like, hovering in the air. And then we're going to make him fight and eat other th other sea monsters just to see what he's capable of doing. Oh, my goodness. He's open. Let's look inside his mouth and see what's in here. It's pretty similar to the other bloop maybe a little bit different but what i just go through his body what the heck i can teleport here's the real question this is bloop and is bloop larger or way smaller than dark bloop let's find out let's put them next to each other oh my goodness dark bloop is way bigger than regular bloop this is amazing. Look at how much bigger he is. It's about a whole heads. I don't know if you can call it heads. A whole heads length. He could probably eat regular Bloop. That's my guess. Let's let's get Bloop here and see if Dark Bloop can eat him. Let's bring him around and see what happens. Here we go. We're about to see if Dark Bloop can eat regular Bloop. Oh my goodness i think he'll fit almost in his almost in his mouth he'll almost fit in there <laughs> dark bloop eating regular bloop that is amazing oh look at him just get devoured by dark bloop. oh no regular bloop has been destroyed he is just a weird gangly body part let's let's see if he'll put him in his mouth dark bloop is like indestructible right now i wonder if it's because he's frozen i didn't think that that would happen but it, apparently that's the case there we go bloop has been devoured by dark bloop but guys here's the thing we need to see if a megalodon will fit in his mouth but there's also a kraken somewhere out here if the dark bloop was real he would have no problem eating the megalodon look at the sheer size difference between the two of these guys he could eat the megalodon whole by the looks of things straight up totally devour the megalodon in maybe even one bite the fin seems to be stuck there we go he's in there now that's what would happen if the megalodon encountered dark bloop it would be utterly 
destroyed in pretty much one i think i think dark bloop could open his mouth even more do you guys think that dark bloop could eat a megalodon now i'm i'm extremely excited because while dark bloop is really cool my favorite thing in terms of what i would love to see is a gi big gigantic kraken and guess what fin Pyra has made a big gigantic kraken and so we're about to see dark bloop face off against a kraken dog get out of the water what are you doing he's stuck in the water there's a kraken somewhere he's gonna try to eat us do me a favor just chill out right here on the boat no uh, fine you're gonna be eaten he is quite crazy this dog anyway let's look for the kraken shall we dog i'm gonna use you as bait if i dangle you in the water and let you cause a bunch of commotion maybe you'll summon the kraken to us stop pushing me around oh, <laughs> it's already here it's in the water already look doggy let me introduce you to the kraken we're about to feed the dog to the kraken oh my goodness it's moving it's it's moving look at the size of, get off the kraken yeah this is what the dog would do sit on top the oh look at it bend wow that is really cool actually dude the dog is pushing me around the Kraken is incredible. That is amazing. He's way bigger than Dark Bloop, actually, I think. We have to see we have to see these two side by side. Oh, I take that back. The Kraken is nowhere near the size of Bloop. Whoa, he is way smaller than Bloop. That is actually very surprising. Dude, Bloop is eating the Kraken. That's incredibly cool. Stay in there, Kraken. Oh, look, he's got a beak underneath. He's got... Oh, that is that is awesome. Look at this. I post it, and it looks so incredibly cool. The Kraken could totally be swallowed in one bite by Bloop. This is actually... By Dark Bloop, I should say. This is actually pretty amazing. Let's see what would happen if Bloop encountered the kraken ah uh, this is more of a match up here if the kraken encountered bloop there we go that's pretty cool <laughs> if the kraken encountered bloop we might have a we might have more of a battle here more of a fight the kraken could probably choke bloop out maybe but would, would the kraken fit in this bloop's mouth not really it would it take quite a bit i wish that this beak thing underneath here actually could eat stuff but you know regardless of the fact i mean it's a kraken and it's in this game and who doesn't love sea monsters and stuff like this yeah there we go can the kraken eat let's see what the kraken can do can he actually destroy things pretty easily we need to test this out he's losing body parts let's get him uh let's spawn a boat in and then let's see what what happens if he if it encounters a boat here's a nice little tropical boat let's see what ha oh it's doing its thing again where it's gonna blow up on us Will it? Wow! <laughs> it just threw it way into the air. I guess the Kraken can uh, throw some boats around. That kind of kind of makes sense. I didn't expect that to happen. Where is it? That's a. Is that a? Was that a tentacle I grabbed? There it is. He's in there somewhere. Stop making that noise, boat. How do you get that thing to stop? That's kind of annoying. I don't know if we can actually use the Kraken to destroy anything. Guys, let me know. Which of these is your favorite? Finn made all these, and we've got Bloop, Dark Bloop, the Kraken, and Meg. What could he even make next? The Loch Ness Monster? Maybe like a giant squid or some other kind of terrifying ocean beast. In this box lies one of the most deadliest things known to man. Today, we're checking out all kinds of deadly animals. There's not many animals that I'm like super afraid of, but this thing that I'm about to show you given the right situations i'm terrified of but if it's in a different situation like the one that i'm about to show you i'm not too scared because i have the upper hand it's a shark <laughs> the, you know a shark on land isn't much of a threat a shark in the water obviously is look this is an actual guy can you eat this can you eat him put here here put your hand put your no put your head in his mouth like they do at the circuses here we go here we go take your head assume the position and Get it in there. Okay, so the, it turns out the shark teeth aren't that strong. Although, 
I seem to be having some serious problems. As I was saying before I was destroyed, I'm not too afraid of a shark on land unless that shark has a gigantic sword like this giant buster sword and, uh, you know, tries to attack me. Oh, we got some juices flowing over here. It's never a good thing. Yeah, this shark is definitely way more deadly than uh, he, he just was. He's got a whole new deadly ability you know what makes sharks even more deadly mutations <laughs> let's mute them let's mute them a little bit mutate them up see what happens see what he looks like oh man look <laughs> look at him growing all these little weird appendages i'm not entirely sure what's all happening he's got multiple new legs multiple weird little tentacle arms look at those things and then uh he's not done yet though we need to take him to a whole new level there we go. Now we're talking shark. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you better you better back up, little white doctor dude. Oh yeah. <laughs> now we're talking shark. Hey, what the heck? His head changed sizes. I don't know why. What? He just ripped his body in two. I did not expect that to happen. Wait, we need another we need another body to test out. Oh, it's the same guy again. Wait, come over here. Okay, wait, I, mi I missed. Here we go. Try that up. Dude, is he he's literally getting broken on this little shark spikes. Normally, not a single person on Earth should be afraid of this or is afraid of this. Unless really in certain situations. No one's like, ah, this thing's gonna kill me at any moment. Uh, it's a worm. And I can't imagine that people are freaking out about worms. You know, you don't barely see them unless you're digging in the dirt. Or it rains, you know, what I mean? you know what I mean? I know some people might be afraid of like worms in the ground, like getting buried and things like that. But you know, you're probably dead at that point, so it doesn't matter. Anyway, this this worm isn't too terrifying either because it doesn't have any arms. And so we need to see if we can grow some arms on this thing and mutate them to brand new extremes, make them terrifying so that, you know, this guy is super afraid. Let's first start with this one. See if it works. Can you grow arms out of nothing? He's growing legs. Okay, he's already looking way more creepy than before. I don't know. Don't fall in the water. Okay, don't. There's water there. You know. You. You know what happens if you fall in water? You. You drown, and it's all. It's GG for you. Yeah, he's. He's definitely. No, we gotta. We gotta bring him. We gotta bring him over here. Here, just hold on one second. We'll get him over here. All right, he's got he's got arms. I gave him arms. Wait, uh, let's see. There's a, definitely another arm mutation. I think we can do. Oh no, there isn't an arm one. There's one where you replace arms with legs. So we gave him more limbs. I wonder if there's a way to give him arms because I don't think these are gonna hold anything. Like we could try maybe the wing mutation. But I don't think that's gonna work. Maybe, maybe if we give him this one, I don't, I don't know. Actually, I don't foresee this working. Maybe. Oh crap! Oh crap! Okay. Whoa. Okay. Hey. What is? I think he's going arms now. Oh, he's gonna eat him. Never. We made him creepy already. Uh oh. He just. Hey, now you could be terrified of worms. Okay. This is, <laughs> that that seemed to work out quite well. Wait a minute. I don't think I've actually ever done this. Where's the one where you, yeah, the, 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 the tumor one where you absorb humans to grow. I don't know if we've ever combined these two. So if we put some people down, these guys, and he gets eaten, will he grow? Does he get bigger? I don't know if it's actually getting bigger. I mean, we definitely, we definitely hit him, right? We sh we shanked him with it. It doesn't seem to be working. But man, that's definitely one way to make worms more terrifying. They fly around and eat people. So it might be hard to see. But one of the most terrifying creatures <laughs> on the planet is right here. It's a bee. He looks very too pixely. <laughs> Looks very cute, right? Well, uh, there he goes, flying around. Well, uh, needless to say, in this game, he's absolutely terrifying. We got a old Nicolas Cage situation going on. This is a beehive. Now, I don't know if there's actually bees in here, but we're gonna find out. And the way 
Yeah, we'll, no, I just want one. We don't need to go to two right now. Uh, the way to find out is to basically, we're going to add more bees. We're going to get lots and lots of bees. If you put down a human, uh, they go to the humans. Okay, I don't think there's actually, I don't think there's actually anything in here. So, I think what we need to do is, let's put that guy there. And then let's just spawn a whole bunch in. Let's just get a whole bunch of bees. There we go. Yeah. Make it, make it like a light show of bees. That seems about right. Okay. Oh no, there's a human coming. They're threatening the beehive. Oh, oh no. Ah, the bees, not the bees. Oh no, look at him. They're attack. They're attacking the guy. Oh, we need a couple more. There you go. Is he, is he okay? Is he gonna survive this somehow? I don't know if he can. I'm just, by the way, I'm just spawning bees constantly. <laughs> just keep spawning the bees. Ah, uh, is he? Oh no, there he goes. It's over. I think he, is he done? Are they gonna leave him alone now? It looks like they're eating now his feet or something. They're definitely eating his feet. Oh, there they go. Now they go, they go back in the hive. Look at this, are they, go are they going in the hive or just like hanging out by the hive? I think, I don't know if they're going in. They're just hanging out. They're protecting it. Now, here, here's what I need to do. We need to do this about like 20,000 times more. So I'm gonna hit uh, the Q and E buttons for quite a long time. It goes a little, it goes a little something like this. Ready? Maybe I should make a macro. That might make it even better. Basically, I want to make my game lag. Okay, release the bees. Let's see what happens. Let's see how many bees there are. Oh my! <laughs> Did you see them all come out? That was a lot more than I thought there was going to be. I didn't do it for nearly that long. They, they already took him out. It's already done. Why do they eat his feet? I'm so confused by the feet thing. Uh, they like feet, apparently. Okay, we need more bees. Oh, I totally forgot I could copy and paste. Can I? Oh, no. It won't let me copy them? That's unfortunate. I don't know how many bees are here. There's a lot of bees. But there's also a lot of people. And we're going to see how fast these bees can take out the people. Here we go. Let's watch what happens. Whew, whoa, look at all, <laughs> get all Oh, they, are they too far away? Whoa, what the heck? I got, apparently, I got some powers enabled. I feel disappointed. I didn't see any of it. So let's get a bunch of people. Because the bees didn't go. They just stayed over there. Oh my goodness. What the heck? Listen, I'm freaking out. The beehive went flying. Dude, they're way down here. The bees are out of control. <laughs> we got too many bees. Do you remember the abyssal mod? Well, there's new creatures I haven't checked out yet. Like this crazy looking Venus flytrap thing. Wait, does this actually... Does it actually attack? Hold on. Let's make this guy walk towards him. Go ahead, man. Walk over there. See what's going on over there. Anything crazy happen? No, no, no. Oh, it doesn't eat him. He doesn't actually, like, eat him on his own. I'm very disappointed. He died, apparently. I don't know. How did you... How did you just die? Well, the thing looks like it... It's called Trap Jaw. I mean, it looks like it's actually eating. Oh, no. He didn't die. He just, like, fainted. Well, that's very disappointing that it doesn't work. I was hoping that it doesn't actually... This was the first creature added to the mod. How did I not see this thing? Actually, it's not new at all. He's one of the first ones. Oh, that's delightful. Look at that. So this is a worm. It's called the Abursa worm. And he's looking totally, he's crazy looking. Is it, does it actually move? Can you walk? Oh, he's, tr look at his weird body in the back trying to walk. Yeah, he doesn't walk. He's apparently venomous. So let me see if we can, does he actually do anything? Like if we touch him? Hello? Maybe you need to get shanked by this tail section back here it's like it looks like a needle oh oh no no not working does it doesn't oh but his foot is caught in his tail here's a creature that actually will eat him it's the abyssal alligator is his mouth open yeah no yeah it looks like it does now if he walks to him this is a different story i think here we go go for a nice little stroll through the swamp it's your down. Oh my gosh. He just disappeared. Uh, it's your downfall, man. Oh, there goes his head. How about a leg? Yum. Hungry? 
Hungry alligator? Yes, I think so. How about a sandal? He likes sandals? He likes sandals. You know about leg parts? Yeah, he likes legs. Now, will they fight each other? Who will win this battle? Oh, oh, dude, does the alligator eat him? Oh, the crab is immune. You can't actually be eaten. He only eats people, apparently. You know, this is gonna give me nightmares. This right here is the abyssal slug. What the heck? This is a slug? That's terrifying. Wait, can you eat him? Get in here, good in this. Look at, look at the mouth. Oh my gosh. I can't believe this is a freaking slug. Look at this. You can put the whole human body just right up inside there like it's nothing. Look at, there we go. Oh, his arms. Jeez, that's violent. Whatever this creature is can affect humans. It can infect them. Oh, what the heck? Look at what happened to him. Whoa, this is crazy. Look at his face is all getting all weird. This thing's wild. It's making little spore babies on his face. I don't know how I feel about this thing. <laughs> Look, his name is Steve. Apparently he's a monkey that's been really like mutated and transformed. Uh, what happens if you touch here? Say hi to Steve, touch his face. Steve, you wanna get pet Steve, oh yeah. No, Steve doesn't do anything. He just stands there. Take that, Steve. Uppercutted Steve right in the jaw. Steve is no more. Steve, super bow, Steve. Oh, we've just obliterated Steve is gone. You know what's better than a normal, ordinary, lame piranha? A buff piranha. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back. Look at this thing. I'm pretty sure this prana is gonna bash the other one. Oh, he's he insta destroyed it. <laughs> yeah, let's see you deal with this army of piranhas, buff prana. He has so much confidence and swag. Look at him. Here we go. Look at his little mouth. Yeah, punch him. He's not really punching them at all. He just like punched himself. Oh, he got them all. I think his arms got flipped upside down somehow. All right, he's able to take out some piranha, but can he take out an army of great whites? Here he goes, <laughs> look at him go. I love this thing, it is so funny. Get him, he's punching him. Yeah, he got one. Oh, they are just brutal biting him. Oh, he got all of them. <laughs> he might be a little OP. You guys remember my robot shark? Look at him, isn't he amazing? Well, I found him a competitor. Oh, <laughs> he might be a little OP. I purposely didn't give my shark any lasers because I thought that'd be too overpowered, but this guy has no problem doing that. Although my shark is super buff. Look at him, he's withstanding this barrage. <laughs> oh no, Maggie. Yes, I call him Maggie. Well, I think if you give anything this many lasers and that many, like, little zapper things, uh, it's bound to win. Anytime something comes on the scene with too much power, I always have to pit him against this thing. And here we go. Insta death. <laughs> well, every now and then I have to go look through the workshop for units that are just extremely derpy. And today I found a unit that's claiming to be Mario. <laughs> what the? Look at this thing. This is somebody's version of Mario. That mustache is so Bruh. beautiful. Well, since we got him, we might as well watch him fight. Although he can't really walk too well. Get him, guys. Oh, jeez. He's just pummeling these guys. Well, Mario might be a little bit more uh, powerful than I anticipated. Oh, I see. He's incredibly upset because people keep making fun of him. Now, this next unit, uh, you can go in the workshop and you can look up this unit and you'll find some really good ones. The Roblox noob. This one, however, not so, not so good. <laughs> this looks like the creature that the Roblox noob evolved into because he was sick and tired of everybody making fun of the way he looked. And then he grew some giant pinchers just to torture everyone. Pretty sure that it's not gonna go too well for these guys. Oh, he's got one in his pinchers. He just does a spin move and flings them all over the map. Oh, he's violent, look at him. <laughs> Anything with these pinchers just terrifying. Well, lesson learned, don't make fun of the Roblox noobs. And this next unit, I really have no idea how it works but it's amazing. It's a penguin. <laughs> it's in the sky somehow. It's up in, I should say, the water. Like it's swimming down. Somehow, some way, when you spawn this thing in, 
He launches up in the air. I think that maybe he built it on a pedestal and then he that fish heads up here and all this extra stuff down here. So when you put them down and you just go boop up into the air, that's my thought at least. But either way, he's a little, <laughs> look at him move. He's a little awesome penguin. I like him. Ooh, this hill giant's freaking out. He's like, get this penguin off of me. I don't think I've ever seen it move like that before. Since that penguin was able to destroy that hill giant with relative ease, I thought I'd get a whole bunch more. I just enjoy watching him move. <laughs> he's like, there's a little stutter and it's super cute. This is a violent scene over here. Oh, and he's got spikes from behind just in case he gets jumped in the back. This penguin is dangerous. You wouldn't think that something so fluffy and cute and awesome would be so terrifyingly good, but it is. Well, he got them all. There he goes. Hello, Mr. Orca. Do you know what's better than a regular great white shark? A megalodon, but not just an ordinary one. One covered in tons of spikes. This is called Spiky Boy. I'm pretty sure we can guess how this is going to end. Hey, Spike and all the orcas. Actually, I'm, I'm actually curious if the orcas are going to win. Oh, this is what they do. Pack animal. They just go and they just take and push their prey into the oblivion they still haven't died yet though which is kind of surprising what happens if it gets pushed off the edge does it die right away does it fall or do you can it just like fight because it's technically still underwater well they got it down there so i'm assuming that it doesn't die the same way it falls off the level that they can fight below the surface oh they're gonna get this thing the shark is trying to swim away he's like save me wow that was actually an extremely close battle but they managed to take him out you've all seen godzilla on land but now godzilla is swimming through the water I'm not entirely sure why I made this army, but we got a bunch of these guys and a bunch of Barneys, and we're gonna watch them get destroyed. So I'm pretty sure if this Godzilla is true to his form, it's gonna have some lasers. Yeah, it's got them. It's got big old lasers, but those Barneys are super aggressive. Something needs to be done about these aquatic animals and how they just swim down to the ground. But this uh, Godzilla is pretty cool. I think it needs a little bit of work, but it, it, it's got the whole head part going on there. Yeah, I mean, I like it. I like how it looks. I just think it needs a little bit of work, perhaps. So to make this next one work, because I wish it was larger, I made little tiny people. What do you think this thing is? It sent Tichoro. Look at this thing. It's epic, man. I wish it was a little bit larger somehow, because then we could really you know, see the epicness of this thing. But I mean, it is, this is very well done and I like him a lot. And we need one punch man over here to be able to take him out. And the snake is perfect because it actually gives the little wrap around thing that you would, that you see with Sentichuros. But you know, I not, you can't make something that big. I'm kind of confused, what's he doing? He's like all curled up on himself. Maybe he's taking a break. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> He's doing something weird over here. You really get a feel for this thing when you see it kind of from, from afar. Look at, look at this. This is so well done. I, I'm a big fan of this. This is awesome. Hey, look at this thing's pretty cool looking. It, that looks really uh, true to the form of that thing. I don't know what it's called. He's got a big old giant swordfish thing on its nose with spiky specks. So I'm, I'm assuming that he could beat these things maybe. I don't know. They're they're going at him. Look at him gnawing on his fin. This is what I love about this game. You guys make some oh he dead. He, you guys make some amazing things and I like checking them out. I know I said I wasn't gonna do this anymore where I put the epic thing at the end, but this one is so cool looking that I had to put it at the end. This thing is basically a mecha mosasaurus. Look at this epic thing. Oh my goodness. This is some this is some art right here. This took a long time. I should have put more of these like little, you know, these things on my robot shark. But man, look at that fin is epic looking. I like it a lot. He's got a sweet mouth, which I'm sure is gonna eat stuff because it's flat to the ground, so we're not gonna see it derp out like the other ones. Look at him go. He's got lasers. Things are happening. Oh, look at that mouth. He's got so he's got a whole bunch in there. Yes. And then everything's got spikes, and so he's spiking everything as he goes along. We need a bigger army. I think that'll do. Here we go. Let's watch it in action again. Yum. He just gets like four guys. This is like the best bite I've seen in this game. 
You think like some of the other ones that have whoa whoa whoa. Think some of the other ones that we've seen would be the best because they're so huge, but they don't work. They're not functional. They, they don't. They're not functional. <laughs> look at that guy back there. Uh, this one though. Look at how many bodies are in this mouth. One, two, three, four, five six maybe i don't even know there's a lot in there but he is just destroying everything this is one of my favorite creatures i think he look he just had all that that whole group in there it's probably one of my favorite creatures i've seen i hope you guys enjoyed today's video watching this epic creature and this epic creation you guys make some amazing things thanks so much for stopping by click one of the two videos that you're about to see and i'll see you guys in the next one